Welcome back. I hope that you are all okay. I'm back from London. I am fully contact contactable again. Uh, thank you all for bearing with me and for being patient with your turnarounds and uh, for me actually not being here. I had a really great time in London, learned a lot, met some fabulous people, some incredible artists and I purchased us a few new decks for the channel. So in kind of mem in like a, in a kind of homage to the weekend we were focusing on the tower uh, the tower i would say tarot and tower is that my accent makes them sound really similar the tower card we were focusing on that this weekend um, and it's talking you know those of you that don't know tarot um, the tower card is about when everything kind of falls apart around you and it needs to be rebuilt so in kind of like a tribute or a homage or something along those lines to this weekend we've decided to do one of the spreads that we spoke about we being me and guides if i say we it means me and the guides um, so this is for you guys when the shit has hit the fan when it's all gone tits up um, so this is for you when it's happened and you need that, oh my god, I need an emergency reading. Um, this is for you that it hasn't happened yet but you've got that gut feeling or you know that you've got to make a choice on something and you've got to make that choice before the tower happens uh, because if you don't do it, the universe will do it for you. So this is for you lot as well. Um, and these are for you, it's another reading for those guys, uh, for all of you lot that have been through the tower and us trying to rebuild, okay? So it's it's aimed at three different kind of situations, the to be's, the what has been, the choices that you've got to make, and those that stuff has happened in the past. So all of you lot, is a shit hits the fan kind of spread is what we're gonna do. So instead of showing you a deck, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the three cards. Now these are all new decks, and um, I'll show you the, the decks as well. So this is deck, this is card number one. This is your beautiful tower in card number one. So this is by Janet, uh, Pedalato. Janet Pedalato, she's in Mystical Dream Tower, she's ace, loved her. Okay, so deck number one, she wrote me a lovely message in this. Well, card number one. Then we have the Starman Tarot by David Angelis. Okay, so those of you that are Bowie fans or Bowie fans, uh, depending on whether you're Northern or Southern or if you're in a different country, this is uh, based on David Bowie. Okay, so that's your second tower. I'm going to show you them all together in a second. And then your third tower, um, it looks like the Rider Waite, but it's not. Um, I didn't meet the artist of this one, but I did meet the publisher. This is the Modern Witch Tarot deck, okay? Um, and it's cool. It's like the Rider Waite, but it's all modern. Uh, some of the pictures have got mobile phones and that in them, so it's pretty cool. So I'll show you them all together, and you can pick which tower you feel most drawn to. So as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, so I need you to have a think about your, you and your situation. I don't know how to do this with two hands. I want you to think about you and your situation and I want you to go to the card that you are most drawn to. One, two, three and I'll put the timings in the description. Which tower card is calling you? If you're not sure, uh, it could be that parts of both are going to resonate, but my guide is saying to go where your heart energy is pulling you. Don't let the fear of God come into you with this reading, okay? This is here to help you. It's not a negative reading. It's going to be a positive reading, but we're there to give you the advice and guidance you need because it's all gone tits up. Okay, so let's do deck number one. So I'm just going to keep the tower card out because obviously we need it. Uh, there's a masculine card. This deck's a feminine deck, but it's a masculine card. So, as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So, let's get into the collective energy of you lot watching. So if anything doesn't resonate, remember it for a later date because it's likely to come up. Or, um, or it could be that you're not part of the strongest mutual energy on it. Okay, can you get me into everyone's watching sports, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes? And remember, timings, there's no such thing as time because we don't work with time, it's how psychics work. We can type, tap, tap, sorry, a spirit just came right there. Yeah, my grandma just came really closely into my energy then. We can tap into the past, present and future. Um, so... There's no such thing as timing. So if you're thinking, oh, when, what time is, does it matter? It's, it, it's irrelevant. Okay. So we're going to start off using, we're going to use this spread that, that we did, that we talked about. So we're going to look at what is actually being shaken up, why this tower the moment has happened. What is it that we need to have shaken up with this situation happening? Can I have two cards, please? This deck is so pretty. What is being shaken up? Okay. 
what needs to be let go of for this this for movement forward in your life so you, you're not feeling that you're just stuck after this tower moments hit what's had to be shaken up okay what rebirth is going to be happening what is it what new experiences are calling for people watching that's good that's okay as well and what can you do to feel more in control now that the shit has hit the fan what can the people watching do to feel more in control now the shit has hit the fan okay so let's start so your tower has hit or is about to hit or has hit in the past so this is why uh, the reasons why it has happened now your energy has been quite stagnant now this can involve you and your person but this is mainly to do with you and the situations that you're all individually involved in so work on the strongest mutual energy um but it's more to do with you this reading okay so you have been feeling that nothing has really been moving forward you've been in this very very this so pretty this very very stagnant energy you're feeling like you've been going round and round in a circle waiting for time to kind of pass you by um, and holding on to the situation but feeling like nothing is really happening and you've been getting very very fed up with it and very very annoyed at it now these because of that these towers have hit whatever your individual circumstances are um you know if you've seen them with someone else or if they've written a status or I don't know, any of your individual circumstances, whatever has happened, um, the reason for this occurring on a universal level is to break this stagnant energy which has been going on around you. It's this kind of longing and this yearning. Um, it's also to get you into your power because you've been feeling a little bit lost, you've been feeling a little bit unhappy, like everything is spinning around you and you haven't been able to grab a grip of anything, like it's just been circling and circling in your mind and you've been feeling very, very trapped from the situation, unsure how to move forward, feeling like you're putting your life on hold um, and getting yourself into a bit of a mess over it. So then whatever your individual circumstances has happened, the tower has hit to break this stagnancy and to break this cycle within you guys' energy. Um, it's also come to balance you out a little bit as well because you've been feeling off kilt. You've been, I've just uh, had a clairvoyant image of, I don't know how to explain this, you know, um, have you ever seen a stage where you've got the stage and it's a bit like a seesaw actually when when the one side tilts the other side goes up and then if someone's weight goes on one side the other side goes up it's that kind of tilting energy that's been happening and we need to keep this energy more balanced and it's been like they're in control you're in control the situation's in control i'm not sure what's going on stagnant 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 cycle 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 and so this tower moment has hit whatever has happened for you to break out of this stagnant energy okay i know that's not going to help but you need to know that what you need to let go of so over here we have uh, the wheel of fortune and we have the magician now if you guys are manifesting um, the situation it will be that a lot of you are still holding on to the situation and um, that you haven't been able to surrender it to the universe and um, so by this cycle happening by this tower hitting and the cycle being broken what you've done is you've actually released the situation so that the universe can do its job for you okay um because when you're holding on to a manifestation and you want it right here right now and you're thinking about it all the time you're pressing pause on it so your tower moment is hit to kind of break this this lap this manifesting thing manifesting uh feeling like it's not moving forward it's a case of surrendering um You've also got the Wheel of Fortune kind of coming up here. Again, it's that you've been chasing your own tail with it. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a great card, but what kind of happens with it, what we find happens, is that you guys will be going round and round in this cycle. Again, very cyclical energy for deck number one. Um, you're going round in this cyclical energy, um, feeling like everything's just kind of turning around you. And whereas the Wheel of Fortune is a great card, you guys have been stuck in this cycle energy, chasing your own tail, not sure what's going on. And what we need to get you to do is kind of this the towers hit to kind of get you to jump into the center of the tower and let everything spin around you now if this person rather than you spinning you're standing in the middle and everything is spinning around you so it's getting getting you out of your own way basically and um, that is what you need what's needed to be let go of you've been standing in your own way of this situation moving forward 
So the tower is here to help you let go of the stagnant energy and to get you out of your own way so this situation can come into fruition. So even though it's feeling like everything's a little bit negative and everything's gone really, really wrong, there is a positive side to it, which is why I wanted us to explore this in today's reading. So chasing the cycle, getting yourself into the center of this wheel of fortune so it can turn in your favor um, and helping you to surrender the situation so that manifesting can occur. So there's definitely gonna be a need for release if you guys towers hit there is this need for release okay what is being rebirthed so over here you're gonna like these ones you have the three of cups so pretty you have the three of cups you have the ace of cups and you have devil okay I had to work it out then you know crap with Roman numerology and it's called the sorcerer you have the devil so what uh what rebirth is going to be happening is again it's like the cycle has been broken so that new love can come into your life now it could be if you're thinking about your person and you've been in this stagnant energy it's the rebirth of your person it's that rebirth of um the two of you kind of coming together having a fresh start and even though you're going to say oh it seems really improbable at the moment because it's all gone wrong and i saw this happen and um, this rebirth period these new experiences that are calling you the tower is hit for that to happen so there's going to be new love stepping in whether this is with your person or whether this is with someone new because you have released the situation and it's also this rebirth of your fit like these fears you're going to be changing your your tact your mindset on the fears so all this negative energy that's kind of coming around you all these fears that have been keeping you in that cyclical energy this tower is here and those fears are kind of disapparate a little bit because you suddenly thought well you know what how can it actually get any worse than this how can it get any worse than this so these ooh, these fears have been rebirthed okay so they, these fears are kind of fallen at the wayside and um, new opportunities hopefully not new fears but we'll see as we go along have come into fruition and then you have your celebration over here and love stepping into it so it's had to happen these new experiences that are coming into your life has had to happen be because the tower's here so it's broken that stagnant energy around you so that these new experience of releasing fears um and getting new opportunities, new love is going to lead to your celebration. So it's going to get you into a more positive, happier energy. Okay? New love. New love with your person, new love with someone new. There is new opportunities coming in. Also been gathering your strength. You've realised that you're a lot stronger than what you think. And if you're not there yet, you will be at some point. Also, there's going to be a focus on the unconditional love between you and your person. Um, and you can feel that the new experiences, a new chapter will be coming with you and your person. Um, sorry, my door went then. So new opportunities are going to be coming with you and your person or you and someone new. And this is the rebirth period okay so this tower is hit and the new experiences that are calling you is new love releasing fears um you know in this in this devil card over here even though you have the snake and the serpent and that can be seen as deception you have your cup underneath your new love new love is stepping in new opportunities and celebration and this has had to happen this tower's had to hit these choices have had to be made and um, the situation has come to, had to come to a close so you can get out this stagnant energy and get into the new experiences that are going to be coming your way. And the last thing to do, what to do to feel in more control of the situation. So you've got the High Priestess, Priestess of Dreams, and you've also got the Six of Cups. So what's happening over here, these new experiences, um, you are standing in your power. So remember, sorry, how to feel in more control feeling your power, feeling your strength, um, you know, you're going to be feeling a lot stronger as time progresses at the moment, if it's just happened, you're going to be feeling quite low about it, but the new experiences that are going to be coming in um, are going to make you feel more strong, you're going to feel like, you know, what, what was I doing, I was stagnant for such a long time, I'm ready for something new, and with that new energy coming forward, you start to step into your power, you also are going to be experiencing a lot more spiritual uh, situations, spirit are saying, um, and this is you, again, standing more in your strength. I always think of uh, Rhiannon from the High Priestess, you know, Fleetwood Mac, Rhiannon. In that power energy, um, 
so gathering your strength, stepping into your power, and remembering who you are is going to help you feel more in control of the situation. Now with the Six of Cups, again, this is going to have a little bit of faith and trust in the universe. If you are thinking about a specific person, Six of Cups to me, you know, people say oh, it's to be with memories, but Six of Cups to me is always to do with reconciliation. So having a bit of faith and trust in the universe, like, okay, maybe it isn't right now, but as time progresses, um, as things happen, as I release this situation, and there's there's new love stepping in, whether that's with my person of old or person of new, and um, there is going to be a reconciliation here. There's also going to be a rejoining of your heart energy to yourself because you feel like you've lost yourself along the way a little bit. We also have a mirroring energy happening here, so please remember with that that even though this tower is hit for you, your person is equally going to have a tower of sorts. Okay, so it might not be exactly the same tower that you have had, but they too will have a tower and. They they will mirror that energy back so they will also have this kind of wake-up call to make them realize that they have to do something about the situation or you know new experiences have got to come in exactly the same as you you're gonna have this mirror based energy and um, so having a bit of faith and trust in the universe getting into your power knowing you know not thinking but knowing in your heart um, how this situation is going to unravel, knowing in your heart how you want it to shift forward um, and gathering control of that, not controlling the situation but controlling your emotions on the situation because if you do that and you do that from a place of power, not a place of need or want, you release the situation, it can come into manifestation and your person, if it's to do with love, is going to come back to you. Um, if it isn't to do with love, Again, it's that kind of standing in your power, let the universe do its job, and it's going to bring in new opportunities for you. So again, it's a really good reading because it's not all hope is lost. Let me just do a quick recap on it. So your tower has hit. Your well, What is shaking up is the stagnancy, in short, the stagnancy of the two of you. You and your pair, well, or whatever situation is going on, but largely with you lot, it's the two of you. So this, the stagnancy between you and your person is being sh shaken up. What you need to let go of is the need for control, chasing your tail, uh, surrendering to the universe so the universe can do its job. Your rebirth period brings in opportunities of new love, either with your person or with someone new. Um, also doing something that you enjoy and, you know, releasing these fears so that, again, new love can step in. And how to feel in more control of it is stepping into your power, having faith and trust that this has happened for a reason, knowing that there's a mirroring energy going on here, that it's come to teach you something and no matter how hard it is, um, that you will feel better by the time you've got out. There is that quote, isn't there? Um, I can't remember the specifics of it, but that quote goes, um, you don't even, when the storm hits, you don't even know when the storm's going to end. But one thing's for certain, by the time you get out of the storm, you won't be the same person that went in. And that is your deck, number one. My towers of number one, okay? Keep strong, keep in your power, you're doing great. You might feel like it's all falling apart around you, but try and see it from this perspective of when the shits hit the farm, there are reasons for it, and the specific reasons why we've mentioned in this reading are for you, okay? And that's deck number one, tower number one. Okay, let's do tower number two. I don't know what time it is because I've had to re-record it, so I'll just put the timings in the description, okay? So we're going David Bowie's tower, tower, Davija Angelis's tower. Okay, so, again we're going to do, as it was with deck number one, we're going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, so if anything doesn't resonate, you know, remember it for a later date, but this is for you lot. Who shit has hit the fan, who shit is about to hit the fan, or who's kind of in this period of rebirth and regrowth. So, let's get your thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Okay, right, so let's see. The first two cards we need is what is being shaken up. So why this tower is hit, what needs to be shaken up from this tower hitting? Why has it all gone wrong? One. Why has this tower been shaken up? This one, please. Two. What needs to be let go of? What do deck number two's tower need to let go of? What is being rebirthed? Three. Being rebirthed. 
from this tower hitting for deck number two. I like to jump more than one at a time this deck. Um, and how can they, the people watching feel more in control over the situation? Okay. So, here we go. Tower has hit. Tower is about to hit. Shit is at the fan. And you're come thinking like, oh God, what do I do now? So why this tower has happened, what is being shaken up? So you've got the strength and card and you've also got Ace of Pentacles. I'll show you the decks more so you can see it. This deck makes me a little bit dizzy, but I do actually really love it. There's a lot of information on these cards. So those of you that are more intuitive readers like me, rather than and, and channeling spirit, if you are people that are like more colorful, this is a really, really good deck for you. So what's been shaken up for the two of you, well, for this situation to happen? So you've been feeling a little bit under the weather. You've been feeling a little bit down um, and you've been feeling a little bit confused. There seems to have been some kind of argument with a lot of you. And if there hasn't been an argument, there's been a conflicting energy in the mind. And it's been going one way than the other way. And you haven't really known what direction it's actually meant to go in. You've been trying to keep yourself moving forward, but you felt like you're going three steps forward, two steps back, and you aren't sure what direction you're meant to be going. In. You've been planning your beautiful new beginning um, and hoping that it was going to happen and then suddenly this tower's hit and you're like, those dreams are suddenly fallen away from you. Now the reason for that, the reason why this has kind of happened is because this new beginning that you were planning isn't quite either the right timing or it's not quite the right energy at this moment. So again, it kind of reflects the timing. If you, if it, for example, if the shit's hit the fan and you and your person have had a fallout or a breakup, reason for that is because it's not the right timing. If it's been beyond that and it's career based or something along those lines, it's because again, it isn't the right opportunity. It's not, it's not quite there yet. So you've been feeling a little bit unbalanced with it all, a little bit stuck. And so this tower is hit to make you reanalyze what it is that you actually want. It's a bit of a wake up call, tarot, tower, 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 tower. tower. Power. It's a bit of a wake up call tower to make you reassess what it is that you want. Feels like you've been fighting a losing battle at the moment. That's how you guys are feeling. And then suddenly this tower's here and you're like, shit, losing battle. I need to reanalyze what it is that I want from the situation. Okay. Reanalyzation. Reanalyzation? Is that a word? Okay, death. What you need to let go of. Ace of Swords, Five of Cups. You've been feeling quite betrayed. You've been feeling quite let down. And you've either your, your person, if it's to do with another person, might have cut you out or you've cut them out. Um, and it's this feeling at the moment that you yeah that you've been let down um that you've been hurt that you've been kind of swimming in this pile of emotions and you haven't known what direction to take and you've been trying to stand in your power but every time you've done that you felt like you've been knocked over i just had a clairvoyant image of a it was they're showing me a lot of games today um you know on a affair where you throw the things throw the balls and the toys or whatever have to fall down and then you gain your toy it's like that you've been feeling like people are just throwing these balls at you and everything's just hitting you and you're like i don't actually know what to do about it people have been putting pressure on you you've been feeling quite low frequency low vibration unsure what you want thinking you know what direction you want to go in trying to reach for it and then this tower's gone the universe has gone no way not yet nah, uh, uh. so your tower hit you've got yourself into a bit of a fluffle kerfuffle um there's also, like I said, there is a feeling of betrayal kind of going on here, feeling as if you've been stabbed in the back, feeling as if this lightning bolt has, has hit you, everything's kind of caught fire and you haven't known what direction to take. Feeling that you were before, you were quite grounded, you knew what where you wanted to go, you knew what you wanted in life, you knew how it was going to play out or you had ideas of how it was going to play out, towers hit, you've got yourself in a kerfuffle. So what needed to be let go of here is this... Um, what we need to help you let go of is these feelings of betrayal um, these feelings of this isn't how I want it these feelings of I've been let down these feelings of the universe has let me down these feelings of my person has let me down um, quite heavy sadness and the reason for that again is because your frequency has been very low you've been reaching for your goal and it hasn't happened this tower's hit and you've got yourself stuck so there's a need to be letting go of that 
Reasons why it's happened, your rebirth. Uh, we have the Four of Swords and we have the Prince of Wands. So reasons for that is because you actually need a little bit of downtime from the situation. You need a bit of a rest from it all. Um, it's been clogging your mind, it's been clogging your thoughts. You've been feeling very, again, very, very low frequency. You've been wanting to communicate about it, but either the situation hasn't allowed it or the words haven't allowed uh you to speak your truth so there's been this period of rest is going to be this period of rebirth and that is why it's kind of the situation has happened as well it's time for reanalyzing what you want it's time for assessing what direction you want to go in what is it that you want from this situation and thinking about it from a different view exploring opportunities that haven't yet been explored because your goals have been set for so long that it's got to be this way and that way your towers hit and you're like shit this isn't how I expected it to be, you know, but the universe has thrown this tower at you to shake it up, to reanalyze what you want. So your period of rebirth is going to start with a little bit of downtime as you think things through and you reassess. Then we have the page of wands and with that, this is going to be igniting new opportunities of passion, okay? So whatever your passions are, whether it's in the bedroom or whether it's to do with work or whether it's to do with relationships, your new passionate energy is going to be stepping into yours. So you're going to have this period of rebirth, then you're going to start chasing dreams with a new passion okay it's going to be a new lust for life now that's not to say if you think about you and your person that it isn't going to work okay don't get me wrong this is just how to help you deal with the situation there is new passionate energy stepping in this period of rebirth reassessing it working out what it is you want also it feels like a few of you have kind of changed your life objectives for the person that you are with or wanting if we're talking about romance um you know some of you have kind of reassessed your goals or you, you know this tower's hit you thought everything was going to be great you were going to try again with your person or you were building this future the tower hit and you're like oh my god that's not how I've wanted it to go and this period of downtime now is going to make you reanalyze what it is that you want without your person being in your energy and um, you know that song believer um by Imagine Dragons, that song always makes me think of the Tower card, and if you haven't heard it, go listen to it, um, because it talks about, you know, you're the master of your ship, you're the sailor of the sea, or whatever the individual lyrics are, I can't remember, um, and that's what's going to be happening in this period of rebirth, you're going to be reanalyzing what direction you want, what you want from the situation. And, you know, your life goals, if, you know, it has been you and your person have come to a plot, could be because there's a difference in what you both want from the situation. Um, so this period of downtime, this period of this tower hitting, this period of rebuilding and regrowth um, is going to make you analyse what it is you want. An example of that could be if you want kids and you've said to your, your person doesn't want them. It's just an example. And you've said to them, you know, you've said, oh, I'll give up kids. I won't have kids because I want to be with you. Tower's hit. And then you've got this period of downtime now of rebirth, of reanalyzing. And if you really do want kids, it's going to give you this tower's hit to give you these kind of opportunities that haven't yet come into fruition. Okay, regrowth, rebirth, downtime, following passions. And then what to do to feel more in control. We have justice and we have the three of wands. Okay, so with this one, we've got that there's actions, there is movement, and there is also this kind of karmic energy being cleared. Um, there has been a karmic energy with you and the per your person, if we're talking about love. Now, that's not to say that... Um, you aren't twin flames or you aren't soulmates it's just that there has been an element of karma so this is likely that stuff has happened in a past life and um, a good way of explaining past lives is in one life you would be the murderer in the next life you would be the victim so kind of it's a bit dark i get you but it's a good way of analyzing how past life and karmic energy works so there's been this rebalance of the energies this karmic energy has kind of been cleared so if you can try and focus on that, that this has had to happen for things to rebalance, re-tip the scales and come back in the right direction. It's also happened um, so that you can gain control of your life. So how you can feel in control of your life is to gain that focus on what it is that you want and go and get it. Go and get it. Go start fighting for what it is that you want. And if it is to do with a specific person, have this downtime. Work through what it is you want. Work through what your objectives are in life. Work through if you want to wait or if you want to settle or if you want to go dating other people. And then take action on it. Not until you're ready, but there will be a need for action, okay? And that will help you feel more in control of the situation. Also here, this reminds me of the Yellow Brick Road and the Emerald City. It's like you're following the Yellow Brick Road at the moment. And there's also that song called Yellow Brick Road, by 
Elton John, but the woman does it as well, and I like the woman who does it, but I can't remember her name. Um, and that's about leaving the past behind and focusing on moving yourself forward. Now, whether your person, if it's to do with love, whether your person is waiting for you at, at the Emerald City, that's going to be down to individual situations. But to help you control the situation, uh, or help you gain control of this tower hitting, focus on what it is that you want, have a period of rest, think it all through and then take action on it. Follow your yellow brick road. Move from the past into the future. Don't be afraid to embrace it. I know it's hard because it's not what you wanted, but don't be afraid to embrace it because through embracing and accepting and allowance, that's when the magic can happen and you're not controlling it and you're not fighting it. And again, with justice, this is the kind of clearing of the karmic energies. This is the time for you to get into your power, to work through your fears, to work through your emotions, to work through everything that's kind of gone wrong. Reanalyze it without taking other people's opinions and judgments on board because people have given that to you. People have said to you, oh, this will happen and that will happen and it's got to be specifically this way. You are the one in control of your own destiny. You know, people that say destiny and we're meant to be together, it's all predetermined. It's not true. The reason why, uh, spirit, us, come and inhabit human bodies is because we have free will, you know, and we can choose what direction we want. That's quote by Dr. Seuss, you have a head on, brain in your head, you have feet on your shoes, shoes on your feet, no, feet on your shoe or whatever. You can go whichever direction you choose, I can't remember it, but Dr. Seuss quote just came into, the, into my right ear. So it's this balancing of karmic energies, it's gaining this control, okay, gaining control of the situation. And that will help you gain control, what to do, focus on yourself, move yourself forward, work towards your dreams. And if it's to do with someone else, um, your individual energies would have to look at in personal readings, but they will catch up with you. Likelihood is they will catch up with you at a later date. But for now, this energy is yours. Focus on you. So let's just have a recap, all right, of deck number two. So the tower has hit. <laughs> explosion lightning has struck and um, why it's being shaken up is to give, help you reanalyze what it is that you want in short this is it in short reanalyze it, it what you want what you need to let go of was this one betrayal uh, injustice feeling let down feeling that you've been cut off feeling that you have yeah let down that you've been really hurt that someone has betrayed you we need to really help you release that and this tower is hit for that reason as well. Your rebirth is a period of rest and then following your passions, following what's right by you, not for other people, but what you feel is correct and how to make you feel in more control of it. Take this downtime, have a bit of healing, know the energies are balancing, follow your brain and your heart as well. Balance these energies out, okay? You know, people say, use your head, not your heart. Keep balanced on it. Use your brain and your heart. Follow what it is that you want. And the universe will align it back into your favour. The tower's been crap, I get it. But this will, this will shift back around in your direction. And that is how to gain control of it. Focus on you. Focus on moving yourself forward. Okay? And that is deck. Well, that is tower number two. Okay, let's do tower number three. So I put the deck time in the description because I had to stop because my door went in deck number one. So... As always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, we're going to do it, we're using a spread that was at the conference. Um, think about, no, 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 yeah, we just, I'm just going to use your energy, not your people's energy, because it's your tower, all right? So get, let's get into the thoughts and feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of the people watching. And let's get through all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the tower has hit, everything's gone, tits up, you don't really know what to do, what's going on, and you're feeling in a massive panic. So this is why we are here. We are being guys. Okay, so, tower. Can you tell me, the first one we need is what is being shaken up? Why is the tower hit? What needs to be shaken up? One. Two. What needs to be let go of? One. Two. What is being rebirthed? What new experiences are calling? 
and how can the people watching feel more in control of this tower hitting? So it's a bit of advice, a bit of guidance, a, a bit to make you feel a bit more happy. Oh my god, I just have one more for this pile. So, boom, here it comes. Tower's hit, or about to hit, whatever your individual circumstances are. Strongest mutual energy between you all. Bam. So, Obviously, we know the tower happens, situations happen um, so that we can rebuild them in the right direction. We build, we have to rebuild. When the tower hits, we have to rebuild because everything crumbles around us. Um, and the point of this reading is to kind of make you realise the tower, even though when people see it in readings, they go, oh dear God, it's not actually, there's, there is positives towards this card and we are here to help you gain into these positive energy, okay? So what needed to be shaken up, you've got the King Knight in the oven, you've got the Knight of Swords and you've got the Ace of Pentacles. Now this feels to me with romance um, that your person has kind of been taking you for granted. Feeling that um, they, they've had you in the palm of their hand really and you're not going to want to admit that but they've kind of said jump and you lot have said how high and it's not, you know, it hasn't been fair on you, it hasn't been right on you, um, and it's kind of put you into this really low frequency because they're not giving you what you want, but you are giving them everything that they want, okay? Um, and so this tower's had to hit for this to be rebalanced, for things to kind of shift in a, in a different direction. It's a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a wake-up call necessarily for you, but if it's hit that hard and it's been that bad a situation, it is going to be a bit of a wake-up call. Um, but it's to regain this balance of the situation, okay? It's hit, it's crumbled, and, and what's had to crumble is the person that you're thinking of. Remember, I'm never gender specific or sexually orientated on this channel, but I work with energies. So the male energy of your person hasn't been acting in the best way. Um, and you want the happy endings, you want what you want from the situation, and this has had to be shaken up for you to get that, for you to gain control of it, for you to gain your power of the situation, okay? Because they have been in control for far too long. What needs to be let go of is that you've been feeling stuck, you've been feeling trapped, you've been feeling that they have control of it, you are now gaining your power, you're feeling a lot, well, you're not at the moment, but you will start to feel stronger from the situation and you'll start to be moving yourself forward. You will be in the one of control of this relationship or whatever your individual circumstances are. This one definitely feels to be more love-based to people watching and so I'm going to focus it more on love with you and your person. So it's like you want, you needed to gain more control of the situation. You've been feeling very, very stuck, very, very feeling trapped, like you, you're like almost in a box. They keep showing me games today. You're in like a box, like a jack-in-the-box, and they'll open the lid and you've got to bounce out and go, hi, and then they put the lid on you. And this is the same if they're texting or not calling or whatever. You're stuck in this kind of jack-in-the-box energy. So this tower has happened. This, these issues have happened, have arisen um, for you to kind of come out of this jack-in-the-box energy, for you to stand in your power. Um, and the need to let go is to letting go of this jack-in-the-box energy so that you can be in control of the situation rather than them letting them control it. With the kind of sun behind this, again, this indicates the masculine energy has been in control of you feeling like you're in the jack-in-the-box and the situation has happened to get you out of that jack-in-the-box energy so that you can be more in control of it rather than letting your person navigate it for you, okay? Getting you into your power, remembering who you are, being that strong, independent, um, energy, male, female energy, being that strong, independent person you are, letting you take in control rather than them. Your period of rebirth, we have temperance, we have the five of cups, and we have the page of cups. Okay, so this is what new experiences are calling you. And um, so at the moment, you're going to be feeling like everything's a little bit crappy all right and um, feeling that all these hopes and dreams that you had have just fallen at the wayside looking to the spilt emotions that have happened um, and failing to realize that if you turn around there is still a love there now some of you are going to gain new love with the page of cups some of you are also going to be moving house with the page of cups um but there is this um these these will be your new opportunities um 
And even though it feels crappy at the moment, with the right kind of balance, with the right energy and giving it time, these new opportunities are going to be stepping in, these new experiences, this period of rebirth. You're also going to be assessing what it is that you want from the situation. So even though you're crying over spilt milk, you're realising, well, you're not crying over spilt milk, your towel's here. But even though you're crying over the situation and what has happened, there is going to be slight positives in this because you... you don't want to go on to a situation where you are this jack-in-the-box you need to break that cycle you need to get into your power and so this period of rebirth is going to be you standing in your strong power developing what you want to develop some of you are also going to be dis developing spiritual gifts quite clearly um that was really really clear so spirit is saying you know this tower is here as well for you to help to rebalance your energies um, and also something that i strongly stand by the way spirit have told me is um for those of you that do read um you have to experience these things to read for people to the depth that you do you know that's why tarot readers or psychics and me mediums we never have easy lives because we have to experience things that everyone else has experienced and that's part of the reason why this is happening as well for the more psychics of you that want to do this as either fun or a job or whatever even if you're doing it already this tower has hit for that to happen so that you can you can add guide people that have been going through what you've been going through now the pathway here is still lit up towards this masculine energy so but you will be more in control of this situation that's not to say it's done and dusted it's just that when the situation reoccurs or whatever happens you are going to be more in control of it you are going to be the one in your power and you are going to be the one that's going to be saying to them well you know what what can you offer me okay we could we could try again i'm happy for us to try again but what is it that you can offer me and you're getting into that strong, independent, powerful energy and it's going to shake them off kilt and they'll be like, oh my God, what's happened here? And when that happens, that panic is going to hit them, you know, they'll be like, oh shit, I've really got to do something about this situation and their tower will then hit. So this period of rebirth is for new opportunities to come in, house moves, new love, uh, old love returning, but you being in more control, balancing the energies out. I love the top on this. I love how this deck is, is that not masculine and feminine i just love it um being on the right path again the masculine energy is in the background here so even though they're going to be at the back of your mind you are going to be the one that is in control of it it's a not yet but it's moving in the right direction um, and also over here even though these towers have hit this tower's hit the cups have spilled over and you're feeling pretty low new opportunities of love are stepping in as well but we've just got to get you through the crappy bit first and then you can turn around you are the one that is going to be gaining control on it can't control in the situation controlling your life okay so that is what's coming through your period of rebirth and how we can make you feel how we can help you to feel more in control of the situation what will help you we have the queen of pentacles we have the page of pentacles and we have the four of cups i love it with his mobile phone next to him like oh my god he hasn't text me why isn't he text me um so how to feel more in control we would firstly suggest to put your phone down okay Stop looking at it. Stop stalking them. Give them some space. Give yourself some space, more importantly. Give yourself some more time. Um, so how to feel more in control of the situation. Try not to overdo it on the, the social media, checking up what's going on. It's going to just upset you. It's going to throw you a kill. It's going to throw you off kill. It's going to give you anxiety. So try not to overdo it on that side of things. Um, start to if you can start to try and focus towards the future and again over here there's going to be new opportunities that are going to be stepping in make sure you accept them make sure you go go i wouldn't say take a bit of risk but just go and enjoy yourself try not to get too bogged down with it all and um, it's been very very difficult for you you've had a, this tower is pretty hard tower I feel very emotional from coming into your energy but there's shifting and there's movement there's an offer coming in okay new offers a new offer of love again this could be with your person it could be with someone new but new opportunities which are going to be more stable more secure focusing more on being um in the direction you want it to go and you will be getting into your power but you can feel more in control of it by trying not to control it you know go okay that was shit it happened this really really hurts i'm just going to chill with it i'm trying not to check the social media and um, i'm going to see what opportunities come up see what goes 
comes in my favor and just go with the flow of it and once you do that you're going to be feeling more in your power you're going to be feeling more in your strength you're going to be feeling more grounded more stable and um, having a knowledge that this has happened for a reason um, and with the hair at the bottom of this as well the hair it always makes me think of my, my second home in Glastonbury and um, you know it's it's a period of the feminine energy it's a period of spring it's a period of new things happening around you so just hold on a little while you know it's a not things aren't you're gonna have a bit of downtime it's not yet but it's going to be shifting in the right direction for you okay um, and you're going to be feeling more powerful more strong and better about it all um, but try not to overdo it on trying to control it looking what they're up to what's going on you're just going to hurt yourself more so to feel more in control of it kind of just acknowledge accept that it's happened cry scream hit your pillow um, try not to text and call them just put your phone down okay Focus on yourself, let the opportunities come into your direction, grab a hold of them, embrace it, you know, try to turn that tower into a positive and um, new, new things are happening, new experiences are calling and it's love, but you've had to gain control of the situation and that is why this tower is here and you will be more in control of it now, okay? So the less control you give it, the less trying to control it and look at what they're up to, the more control you're actually going to gain from the situation because you'll gain control um, of how you want to be treated, what you want, and it'll bring you into the power. Okay, so quick recap on all that for deck number three, well, tower number three. Tower three has hit. What's been shaking up? Your person's behaviour, helping you feel more in control of the situation, um, helping you stand in your power because they haven't been treating you in the way that you deserve to be treated. What needs to be let go of? Um, the fact that they have been in control of the situation, that you're feeling that you've been tied to a mass and left and stranded and you've been in this jack-in-the-box, popping up, put, put, they've been pushing the buttons, let you out, put you down, um, and it's breaking that cycle. That's had to be broken. That jack-in-the-box cycle's had to be broken. What new opportunities are coming? Um, once once you've had a bit of healing time there's going to be turning away from the past focusing towards a more positive future and being more in control of your emotions your person again if it's never gender specific sexually orientated on the right path balancing the emotions out you'll be feeling in your power your person's going to come towards you with offers you will then take whether whether those offers are good enough you will be in the one who is in control of the situation and that's why this has had to happen that period of rebirth okay and what to do to feel more in control put your phone down stop checking them stop seeing what they're up to and um, accept any offers that kind of come towards you if your mates say oh let's go out do it keep yourself distracted so you're not sitting there focusing dwelling on it and um, and that will help you to feel more stable in yourself and when they come back and tell you whatever they tell you you will be the one who is in this queen of queen of pentacles energy you'll be in your power and then you can rebuild this how you need it to be rebuilt but that rebuilding will start with you a lot by trying not to control it okay and that's step number three so i hope that's helped you guys that have been going through a little bit of ah tower everybody make the tower noise like ah I hope that's helped you a lot and um, giving you the kind of a little bit of advice and guidance that you need to move yourself forward um if you need me if you want to book a reading i do single questions over email the return time on them is 24 to 48 hours and um, i have a wait list uh, for video readings i do 15 minute half an hour um normal readings romance readings love readings the only things i can't answer are finance uh, legal and health including pregnancy I'm not legally allowed to answer them um, but I also do past life I teach as well I have a I have a space or a couple of spaces left for spiritual development at the moment um, if you want any of that just give me a shout and I can I'm manifesting plans as well to move it in your direction it's a whole big list of big pile of everything that I do to help you guys move forward and um, so just email me if you need me all the details on the website apart from the individual readings because at the time I didn't put it on and uh, and now I wish I had but I didn't put it up so and I can't edit it because I'm a bit useless so if you need me just drop me an email I also opened up a Facebook account I wonder if we can get some more people on it because I'm on Instagram um, and then I opened a Facebook up a couple months ago so it would be good if we can kind of get Facebook moving a little bit more um, that's just Mystic Love Tarot, Instagram's Mystic Love Tarot, emails Mystic Love Tarot at gmail.com and website is www.mysticlovetarot.com. And I'm Ali. Uh, so it's been a lovely reading for you lot. 
hopefully it's been a helpful reading, a productive reading that's moved things in the right direction so you can get some clarity and sanity on it. So it's not all hope is lost. Okay guys, take care of yourself, keep strong, let the towers crumble, let them fall. Um, you've got the advice now to help you feel more in control of it, to rebirth, to rebuild and to be reborn. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.